Hello, fellow cinephiles, I'm back. Uh, and I'll be recording some more videos for the DC Fandom. As you can tell, I'm wearing my Batman shirt for a very special occasion. This is the Batman trailer reaction. Now, I'm going to have more of an analysis in this other clip over here, so I'm just going to jump right into it. But I want you to give it this opening. I'm very excited to react to this trailer. I've heard a lot about this movie. And before, as a disclaimer, I had already viewed the trailer, but I did still react to some things because this trailer is so good on a rewatch basis. So there are still some things I could react to, and then we'll get to analysis an analysis portion after the trailer reaction, guys, for those of you that want to stick around for that. But anyway, we'll jump into that clip, get to the trailer reaction, and the analysis. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get to it. Hey guys, I'm back with a video. Uh, I did mention that it would either be yesterday I would upload a lot of videos, or it would be over the course of a few days. Some things came up. I went some places, got a little busy. So we're going to continue the DC fandom. We're going to continue those series of videos. This is the Batman trailer reaction. That was a complete surprise. I'm pretty sure nobody expected, uh, especially a movie that uh, even Matt Reeves himself, the director, said only 25% is filmed. So to only have 25% completed and give us a teaser shows a lot of dedication. And I appreciate that on his part. Um, I have already seen it, but I'm going to still give a reaction, even though I've already seen the trailer and then an analysis portion afterwards uh, for you guys. So let's get into the trailer so you can experience it with me and I will still react because there are just some things that, you know, you're just going to continue to react to no matter how many times you've seen it. So without further ado, let's get to the trailer. So gritty, I love it. It's a very, uh, very smart idea to open on the duct tape and the editing of cutting in and out of the uh, logos, you know, the DC and Warner Bros. logo. Definitely a good intro to just how gritty and how dark this and grounded this Batman uh, incarnation is going to be. And I love the fact they played a Nirvana song. Oh, they played a Nirvana song. Oh. From your secret friend. Underneath the bridge. Who? Top has sprung a leak. And the animals have trapped. Having a clue. All become my pet. Let's play a game. Just me and you. Any of this mean anything to you? I take all my criticisms back about the bat suit. It looks good. That shot, man. Those eyes. Of course. It was so gritty. Gosh, the cinematography is just amazing. Why is he writing to you? It rivals Blade Runner 2049, man. That's like some of my favorite cinematography and film. This is up there, man. Oh, it looks so gorgeous. Justice, please do not lie. What is the price for your blind eye? Whoa. Okay. The hell are you supposed to be? Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, damn. Yeah. Damn, you beating the holy hell out of that dude. Whoa! This guy's crazy. You damn right he's crazy. Oh, I love the music. You're a part of this too. How am I part of this? You'll see. That look. Oh, and they had to go with the question marks for the twos. Smart. Smart. Well, let's get to the analysis portion. Alright, so to the analysis side of the trailer. Overall, this trailer really blew me away. 
Uh, it really did. The, the positives, I would say, right out of the gate had to be the visuals. I mean, the visuals were just phenomenal. Uh, and I know it's it's the subtleties, too. I mean, the from the opening with the duct tape, you've got just this, just this jagged rawness to this uh, portrayal, this, you know, chapter in the live, in the uh, series that is these live action Batman portrayals. It's, um, it, it has its own, you know, uniqueness and boldness to it. And knowing that this story takes place in year two of Batman, in, in, uh, of, you know, Batman, it's still early years of Batman. It's still the dark, you know, the crime, uh, parts of Gotham, not glad that he's out, uh, that he's about out and about trying to, you know, stop them. And the civilians aren't exactly for him either. So they're all kind of just afraid and don't know really that the relationships aren't really there yet. He doesn't really have the connections yet. It's still those early years. And I like that because you typically what we get is you'll either get an origin or you'll get he's experienced. This one is it's a good bridge between the two. It's not showing him going off and training. He's already Batman, but it's early years Batman, something we've never got, you know. With the Dark Knight trilogy, we got technically Year Zero, if you wanted to say that, even though the suit wasn't very Year Zero-ish in Batman Begins. And then you go to uh, the Dark Knight, of course, and it's a it's a little gap in time. Even though at the end of Batman Begins, you do see the Joker card, you can tell it's been a gap of time because he has the relations to like Lucius Fox, and you know the suit has a lot of upgrades. It gets even more tactical. Whereas with this one. You can tell it feels very self-made and put together and I'm not gonna lie when the leaked photos came out I'm pretty sure I'm almost 100% sure now it was a stunt double where I wasn't exactly all for it I liked the torso the torso was like one of my favorite things it reminded me of like a hybrid and the torso still does the torso of this bat suit reminds me of a hybrid between the Arkham games and uh, Christopher Nolan's Christian Bale suit. It's like a hybrid of those two. So the torso is really good. And then the rest of it felt either kind of like self-assembled or tactical. It felt kind of raw, you know, undeveloped. But while looking at the film and the trailer for it, that's the vibe they're going for. They're going for a, you know, uh, not an immaturity. There's a word I'm looking for that they're, you know, that Matt Reeves and, you know, the creative team behind is trying to pull off. And so for the tone and the type of movie and film we're getting here, the bat suit works perfectly. And you look at Pattinson, the the big one there. He is fully immersed in this role. I can see it uh, just from the subtleties of the facial gestures and expressions to that action sequence where he just lays a dude out goodness man that action was so good and I'm so interested also seeing the detective side which is going to be emphasized more so than in any Batman film we've ever gotten with the rogues gallery of villains this really has potential to become if not my favorite Batman movie ever a very close second to the Dark Knight the Dark Knight better watch out because I'm serious. I never thought a movie in terms of a Batman movie would compete with the Dark Knight. I've already watched this trailer 10, 15 times and I watched it the first time early this morning. So over the course of five, six hours, I've watched it double the amount of time since I've over double the amount of time since I watched the first time. It's just it, wild. It, it, it's an amazing trailer from the cinematography to the music to the the logo like the film logo is even really cool so it all just has a really specific feel to it and uh, I'm, I'm very interested to see what they do and uh, just I'm, I'm very intrigued my hype for this film just went from you know oh it's good to off the charts so my hype level went from like I'll check it out maybe opening, uh, you know, weekend after opening weekend or on a matinee to day one I'm there. Day one. Or previews, like if uh, 
my theater, my theater that I live closest to, if they get it uh, like a week or five, six days for like early access screenings or whatever, and you just pay and you only get to like all like two showings and you have to wait another five, six days to global release, I'll go to freaking the early access showings. Like that, I, there's very few films that I've been this hyped for. So it has potential to become one of my faves. It, it, it really does. So what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Did you like the trailer? Are you kind of still in between? Did it turn you off? Did you think it was too much? Uh, you know, how do you feel about Pattinson as Batman? Did this kind of win you over? Do you still need to see more? Let me kind of, let me know those things. I'd, I'd love to have that kind of conversation. And if you like film talk, film reviews, that's what I do over here on my channel. So I can consider clicking that like and subscribe button if you want to see more. Much appreciated. See you in the next one.